What are the mountains that's blocking your faith? Are you a woman that feels like you have lost hope? Lost hope in your circumstances changing or even lost hope within yourself. In this moment, you don't believe that there is a way out. You know that you are in a pit, but every time you try to claw your way out, the grime and the soot of the pit isn't helping you to get out. It's only falling in the pit with you. You've tried different things. And every resource that you have seems to not work. Or maybe you no longer realize you also have resources within you. I'm thinking about the women who have dealt with so much disappointment, frustration, and who have become wounded from people pleasing that she has lost sight of her worth. She has been rating her worth based on how people treat her her interactions with people, and the legit facts of her life that she has lost sight of remembering that her worth only comes from God. She's not strong enough to think any other way. Even when an invitation comes up, a ram in the bush to direct her to make another choice, she doesn't see it. It's like a mist in her sight. This very invitation can actually lighten her load. It might have the power from keeping her from making the wrong decision that she is about to make right now. But she doesn't see it because the grime of the pit has become too thick. It's like a baking pan that has been used without the covering of foil. All the grease, the juices, and the seasonings are beginning to get baked into the pan. You can soak it out. You can use some extra strength to scrape it out of the pan. You can even use a steel scrubber and scrub it out. But as time go on, if the pan continues to be used without a covering, the grease, the seasonings, the juices, become one with the pan. Matthew 17, 14 through 20. At the foot of the mountain, a large crowd was waiting for them. A man came and knelt before Jesus and said, Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. Jesus said, you faithless and corrupt people, how long must I be with you? How long must I put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. Then Jesus rebuked the demon in the boy and it left him. From that moment, the boy was well. Afterward, the disciples asked Jesus privately, why couldn't we cast out that demon? You don't have enough faith, Jesus told them. I tell you the truth. If you had faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. So this message is for you. If life hardships has become your identity, this is what's blocking you from knowing that you can move the mountains in your life. Whether those mountains are disappointment, rejection, pain, and betrayal, you can move those mountains. I want to give you hope today. Just like the father whose son was tormented by a demon, he did not lose hope for his son to be healed. Even when the disciples could not help him, your friends will say the right things. They will even try to fix it and offer you wonderful suggestions, but sometimes that won't be the answer. That father continued to hold on to his faith realizing that Jesus is the only one that can make his son whole. As you are watching this message, I ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you right now in the way only he knows how. Jesus is the only way to overcome your mountain because there is a way out. Jesus said that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to that mountain, move, and it will move. My prayer for you today is if you are in a place where you have tried and you're tired of trying, you've made the phone calls, you ask for the help, you reach for anything and everything, and nothing seems to work. 
I invite you today to try Jesus. He is the only way that your mind can be freed from the mountains in your life. The mountains that seem like they will not move. They will not budge. Those mountains are keeping you on this roller coaster where you're feeling like you're okay and other moments you're not. Those mountains that are sapping the energy out of you. Those mountains that are keeping you with black or white thinking. That is keeping you with the limited beliefs that you can't move on. That you can't get out. That your circumstances will never change. If you don't do anything else, ask Jesus to help you. Ask Jesus to come into your life. There will be many times in your life where all the things will seem useless. And that's okay because God will be your strength. Isaiah 41, 13 says, For I hold you by your right hand, I the Lord your God. And I say to you, do not be afraid. I am here to help you. Jesus will be your hope in this situation. You may be feeling like, I don't really know what hope is right now. I'm going to hold on with hope for you. If you've never considered your need for a savior, I invite you to ask Jesus into your life right now. With your mustard seed size faith, just like the father regarding his son. In this desperate moment, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. Believe in the miracle of what he has done on the cross. With your mustard seed size faith. Believe that Jesus will not only save you from the eternal pit. Which is living out eternity separated from God. But he will also show you how to free yourself from the pit that you are in. I pray that you accept Jesus today and allow him to help you in your time of need, in your time of weakness, in your time of confusion, in every moment that you will live out your life. I pray that you invite Jesus to go with you. So now and after, every time you touch the walls of the pit, that you will call on the name of Jesus. I promise you that Jesus is your way out. Jesus will love on you. He will care for you. Jesus is even powerful enough to protect you from yourself. He will restore you. He will show you things that you need to see. Because in this journey of life with Jesus, you can and you will move the mountains that is blocking your faith. Will you let him show you how today?